Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday we had shoes that came in that box right there. Today we have this box right here, which is as exciting as shoes in my opinion. You guys are all familiar with this backpack right here. This is the Go Backpack, and I have literally used, the, well not this specific backpack, but this backpack has made it into different countries, but the old this backpack made it into all the other countries. Basically, this is like the backpack that I use when I travel because it's like quite literally the most convenient backpack ever for, I mean, it's, it's like tailored for Pokemon Go, but like for traveling, it's pretty perfect. But this one's a thing of the past because I talked to the people over at Go Backpack and we're kind of, I guess, teaming up here because they got me this box. Just a box, there's nothing inside of it. They just got me a box. And they got me this box, oh geez, this box, geez, wait, this box with, It's a Go Backpack with your boy's logo on it. This is super tight. So we got a brand new travel backpack and it's kind of like a like a navy bluish color too, so it goes with, I guess, kind of the blue thing in the channel. You know, it's just, I, I like the subtle blue, but the logo, that came out super clean. So we're actually doing a giveaway for a Go Backpack. I actually don't know if it's this one with the logo or a normal Go Backpack, but it's a Go Backpack. If you guys want to enter in the giveaway, there's a link in the description uh, that's being done by uh, the Go Backpack team. And today, we actually have uh, the brand new, actually, Hoenn event to go, actually, I've been saying actually way too many times in videos. Today, we have the Hoenn event happening in Pokemon Go, so we're gonna head out to the Santa Monica Pier for a little bit, because it's 10, 20 a.m. I've got a haircut at 1.30 p.m. in a different side of LA, so like we can go hunt for a little bit, and then I gotta go to the haircutter, come back home, but, Basically, we've got a little bit of grind time, but like enough to do some raids, you know, like a solid session, Santa Monica. And we've got a brand new list of new raid bosses here in Pokemon Go that we do need to go over because that is important. And I mean, we don't, we don't have the egg list just yet, but we, I mean, we have the new raid bosses. And Shiny Groudon is confirmed in Pokemon Go, so hopefully we can get some Groudon raids in and we'll see how we can do with, uh, with our Shiny luck. But that is a Shiny that, like, that's gotta happen. So let's get out and do some grinding with our new Go Back Back. Hey, we are back at the uh, Santa Monica Pier today. It's been actually a long time since we've been here at the pier and we have, it's 10.59, it is 11 a.m. So we've got about a little bit less than two hours to be able to go out and hunt and we are starting off with hatching some two kilometer eggs. And speaking of the two kilometer eggs, I didn't think we'd have the uh, information for this this quickly, but we actually, we do. <laughs> uh, new eggs, the seven kilometer eggs for the Hoenn event. Actually, we do have the chart ready for that. We know what's hatching out of that and it's not as much as I thought they would add, but what they added makes up for quantity and quality. There's some really, really, really good potential hatches coming out of the seven kilometer eggs and I will definitely be incubating as much as I possibly can during this Hoenn event. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to full seven Ks just because like it's nice to have kind of a mix of uh, of the twos and fives and tens, especially the 10 Ks because still would like Riolu. And actually here at the pier, we have, <laughs> there's a rainy cast for That's funny. One day that's gonna be really funny for everybody. I'm gonna drop an egg and a star piece because I have a plenty of both and we're gonna kind of have a little grind day here at the pier. Again, it's, it's been a while. Three day streak, I did not mean to pick up on those eggs. Okay and there's a 10k and a 5k. Also, there's a new box, uh, I, I think there's new boxes, I'm pretty sure there's new boxes in shop that have some really, really good deals, some good incubator deals, incubators and star pieces. We're gonna grab that. Also, there's new items in shop. We have these new costumes, which I think I'm gonna throw on, I'm not gonna lie. And then the spawns right now are incredible. Remember, increased Hoenn spawns along with shiny Zigzagoon and shiny Talo and shiny Groudon. We have a big raid boss list, kind of a big raid boss list to go over, and I wanna go over that as we battle Groudon because I just can kind of like sit and talk exactly like I'm doing now, but better. <laughs> also, it is, I mean, it's like sprinkling right now, but it's definitely like a little bit raining here in Santa Monica, so uh, I would love to like walk around and talk and whatnot, but we will probably be sat in a lot of places just using an umbrella because I don't feel like letting the camera get soaked and destroyed. And we also need our stamp, so. Oh, we have a box today. What an exciting video today is, my goodness. And out of that, wait, what? Oh, okay, we'll, we'll clean that later. Do we have any raids happening right now? The tilted raid glitch is still happening and there are no legendaries, no Groudon happening on the pier quite yet. So I'm gonna kinda clean up some of these spawns, get some shiny checks in, and I mean, if we you know, if we find some Zigzagoons or Talos, I'm gonna check those. And yes, we'll go over all the brand new information for the Hoenn event, including the raid bosses, the egg pool, and all of the new field research uh, via Pokemon Go Hub. Link in the description, shout out to those guys. Shiny Wingle, gang, 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 that's a Trico. Kind of a cool thing here at this gym, the, uh, what is this gym? The Santa Monica, Santa Monica Pier and Aquarium, I think, gym. This is one of the OG gyms that we've kind of 
battled at and whatnot. Shout out the last hot sauce. This is almost gold. I don't know if we're gonna get it gold right now on this like kind of berry up. Maybe. But definitely like that, you know, after a raid or two here, we will have another gold gym here in Santa Monica. I'm pretty proud of that. My guy, how's it been? <laughs> okay, what a little cluster here. Kind of a little cluster at the Santa Monica Beer. We've got two Zigzagoon, we've got a Whalmer, we've got a Duskull, we've got a Miner, a Plusle, a lot of nice shiny check. And actually, let's talk about what are in the new seven kilometer eggs and kind of the reason why I'm gonna start incubating them a lot more than the 10s and the 5Ks because they're pretty good. They basically watched yesterday's video or last video, but they basically have everything that I said in last video plus Anorith, which is helpful for people doing your, I think it's your Meltan quest, right? That's Anorith, you need Anorith for that? Or is that Celebi? One of the quests, you need Anorith. Also, new additions include Beldum, which could be shiny, now in the seven kilometer eggs. Ninkata, which was only available through research, which I actually don't even have in my Pokedex because because I never did the research for it, so I kind of need that for the Pokedex. <laughs> and then also two new ones coming out of the 7Ks that like, I never would have imagined being egg Pokemon, especially with how rare they are and they're shiny. We now have Mawile and Absol coming out of seven kilometer eggs. Both of them can be shiny. Remember, we were lucky enough to get Paris, the shiny Absol in Paris, uh, not from a raid, but from field research, which is super lucky, and Mawile we still don't have the shiny of, so. Also, it is now starting to pour rain. <laughs> Dang it. Great for a, uh, here for those hoe and water spawns, right? Oh, also Laleep is in the 7Ks as well. So Laleep and Anorith are hard Pokemon to find and they're needed for quests, so I guess that's helpful. So after we hatch the fives and 10Ks, or mainly the big batch of 5Ks I've got, we're gonna move completely over to sevens. But Cha, yeah, those are the new seven kilometer eggs and they're, uh, they're fire. So yeah, I, we, we switched from the 7Ks back to the fives and tens, the normal eggs, switching back to 7Ks with this event. Definitely worth it. Let's go over research at the uh, end of the pier cluster, if it's not raining too bad. Good day if you like to surf, I guess. Okay, no need for an umbrella. We're safe in the rain for now. Now as we hatch uh, some of these eggs, I'm gonna have to weirdly squat for this angle. We've got the 5Ks finally going up, luckily with the uh, actually star piece and lucky egg down, which doesn't happen often. My timing is actually horrendous with all of that. Egg. Remember the 5K batch we explained in yesterday's video. Go check that out if you wanna know what's in all of the eggs. Important stuff to know because I mean, you gotta prioritize one of the eggs, right? Now the research, the field research for the brand new home event, there is actually not a ton. There's only three new ones. That was best. Number one, evolve three Wurmple. And that gives you a trap inch. As if we need more trap inch. Shout out to all my 10K hatchers. Speaking of trap inch, actually, we have a wild trap inch right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, and a shuffet. Oh, more 5Ks. Hatch two eggs, which gives you a nose pass. Nice little Totodile hatch there. I still can't believe we got 16 shiny Totodile. That's just like not needed. <laughs> and then the third and final one is catch 10 Zigzagoon or Talo, which gives you a thousand Stardust. Which leads me to believe that Zigzagoon and Talo are gonna be spawning quite a bit for this event. So if you guys want the shiny Zigzagoon or the shiny Talo, get out there and grind, even if it's raining. Bring an umbrella. I've actually seen quite a bit of Zigzagoon and Talo spawns around, which is kind of cool. So maybe we'll get that one. I'm really, I'm much more interested in Groudon, <laughs> the shiny Groudon somewhere. It, I mean, we gotta find at least one raid while we're here. I have like an hour left. And again, once we hit the Groudon, we'll talk about the new raid boss list because there's quite a bit. And whenever I hatch a Charmander, I literally always save it for Gilly. Shiny, 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 shiny. All right. <laughs> Actually, and speaking of, I'm gonna go open gifts because I'm a horrible friend. I've been opening gifts in days. We're gonna fill up on these seven kilometer eggs. Shout out to uh, Pierre, by the way. Also, shout out to Ricky, who we might see this weekend for. Phoebus Day. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially back to hatching seven kilometer eggs, which for me personally is super fun because the egg pool for seven kilometers right now is like actually fantastic. The fact that we can get our Pokedex Riolu, like we can, speaking of that, a sim, massive flex. We can still get our Pokedex Riolu out of the seven Ks. We can get our Pokedex <laughs> Nenkata out of the seven Ks. We can go for a cool Pokemon, cool shiny baby Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Nick at night, that is, <laughs> look at this right here. <laughs> That's so much. And then obviously some of the brand new shinies in the 7Ks. We've got the Beldum, uh, and then Mawile and freaking Absol. I still can't believe that. So 
Grind 87 ks out, and I'm gonna incubate these. Let's find a Groudon Raid and talk about the brand new Raid bosses we have here at Pokemon Go. And ladies and gentlemen, we have found ourselves in a Groudon Raid. As you can see, this is actually the first Groudon Raid of the event, so fingers crossed. Let's talk about the brand new Raid Boss list. I'm currently balancing to read the Raid Boss list and battle and record at the same time. Because I've got to work for this out because it's freaking raining. Tier 1 Raid Bosses, we've got Wingle, which could be shiny. Plusle and Minin, which both could be shiny. Shuppet and Duskull, which also can be shiny. A bunch of potential shinies in the Tier 1 list. It's basically kind of just like a really, really easy shiny farming list. And with the possibility, I mean, Duskull's been in raids a couple times, we've raided it a couple times, I haven't done well, but like, shiny Duskull, man. Tier 2, we've got Grovile, Combuskin, Marchomp, Marchomp, sorry, Curlia, Sableye, which could be shiny, and then Mawile still in raids, which could be shiny as well. Remember Mawile, shiny, also in 7 kilometer eggs. So, kind of cool, we've got some, uh, Poen Starter Second Evolutions, which is sick. Tier 3, this is fun, this is kind of a, a just a load of really, really rare ones. We've got Lunatone, Solrock, Rawdont and Claydol, all very rare Hoenn Pokemon and uh, some uh, regional-ish. But that is even cool, that's a cool list and a lot of Stardust here and then this is again gonna be our first check on our first potentially shiny Groudon. But first the tier 4 raid bosses, Shiftry, Agron, Absol, which could be shiny, and then Metagross, which I probably can't be shiny, I doubt it could be shiny. So this is the brand new raid bosses here at Pokemon Go as part of the new Hoenn event. Some pretty good ones, so get out there and get your raids in. And then obviously we've got Groudon and Legendary Raids, and in three, two, one, potential shiny! Ay, ay, ay. Not the start that we were hoping for, but it's all right. Right on with the largest hitbox to ever exist in Pokemon Go, Savage Season. So if you guys need certain shinies, uh, whether it be out of the seven kilometer eggs or out of the raids, the brand new raids, I recommend getting out there and grinding because we do have a fantastic raid pool in the 7 kilometers. I'm definitely going to be going all 7Ks from now on. We've got a fantastic pool in the raids as well, which I will be raiding as much as I possibly can because I still have freaking raid passes we have left over from like past events and past boxes. I just don't really use them much. So a lot to do. A lot to do in the home event. It's a great event. Let me know in the comments what is the preferred shiny that you're going for. And on the worst throw, the only non-excellent throw that I threw Crowd on down. <laughs> okay, at least we're catching the first crowd on of the event, and it's gonna be something caught my attention. We'll save this guy for potential trades in the future, but not bad. And then looking around, I see no more legendary raids. So at least we got our, you know, our first legendary in. I think I'm gonna head out from here. Uh, oh, we need to get our box. Let's go back to the pier, get our box, whatever legendary we have inside of it, get our stamp, and then we're gonna head out because it's kind of raining. Tempting. Very tempting. Okay, walking back on the pier, and we're gonna collect our box because we've got two and a half minutes left on the egg and on the star piece. So, might as well uh, grab the dust, grab the XP, no Sinnoh Stone, not really surprised, and then today's encounter will give us an Articuno, and Pokemon Go is tweeting. Articuno, not going to be shiny. Will we ever get another shiny legendary? <laughs> and after about 500 Ultra Ball Pineapple Berry throws, we have a wonderful with defense. Articuno down right there, and then I will grab our stamp for the day, which will give us 500 Stardust because that took too long to catch. And we're back at the car, back at some spawns. No shiny Taylo, but I'd say a pretty successful day and a great, great update happening right now in Pokemon Go. Let's get back home. <laughs> 